And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at uh, De Coco. This is a tracing game. You ever trace things? You, you put down a piece of paper on top and trace. You used to trace maps for school. This is a game about tracing as quickly as you can. It's a drawing party game where you try to guess what other people have drawn, but they're tracing an image. The catch? You're speed tracing. So I don't care how good of an artist you are. This game's about tracing and seeing how you kind of push your luck a little bit. Let's take a look at how it plays. Each player is going to get one of these tracing uh, things and along with a marker and eraser. You're going to put a bunch of these boards in the middle of the table. So in a four-player game, I would put here one through four. You also have a scoring sheet to keep track of scores and a big pile of pictures. Each player is going to take a picture and not show the one side to everybody else. They're going to stick that into here, into this thing. So in front of it, there's a transparent screen. And then you'll say, ready, set, go. When you say go, everyone is going to trace this as quickly as you can. You know, so you might trace it neatly or slowly. And when you think that you've traced enough of it to give people an idea of what it is, then you grab one of these screens. You want to grab the one with the highest number if possible. And then you're going to take that screen and you're going to stick it in front of the picture. So you'll slide it in like this. After everyone is done doing that, you will show your picture to everyone, and they will try to guess it. Each other player is one guess. The first person to guess it correctly, if anyone does, will get the picture card, which is worth two points. If anyone guesses it correctly, that's how many points you get. So, for example, here's a couple that I've drawn. What is this one? Guess, guess, guess. Well, let's take a look and see if you're right. It's a girl on a swing set. What about this one? It's Santa Claus. Alrighty, and that's pretty much it. You'll notice that there's a, another two and another three point card. These would be used if you play with five or six players. You play a certain number of rounds, depending on how many players are in the game. So in a four player game, you would play five rounds. You keep track of the points of each of the players here. And whoever has the most at the end of the game is the winner. So as I said, the game comes with erasers. And so everything erases pretty well. Um, you know, you're going to have to race into these corners, but so far I haven't seen any problem. I, you should erase, obviously, without the picture in there. The markers are markers, you know. These are not great markers, but they never put good markers in games like this. This is okay. So as you slide these in here, I always, they're, you know, they get in there. And in grabbing this, this is a kind of an awkward thing to grab as opposed to something else. But they do have a really good selection of pictures. You know, this is, these are the kind of pictures that are in the game. There's a lot of different types of them. I think they're fine, and they're all double-sided, so you have different things on each side. It's a good selection, and everything fits in a fairly nice little plastic insert here. Rules very easy to understand. This is a solidly entertaining party game here, where you're basically just tracing as fast as you can and then grabbing something from the middle. Really enjoy it. Uh, I like the idea of grabbing sheets in the middle, but you know, maybe just tracing a few lines and hoping people can guess it, which you'll notice mine were not great. And even those I took a little bit more time. You could be really careful, but then you might only get one point. Of course, you might say one point is better than four, you know, zero. So, I don't know. I like that aspect of it. It's funny to laugh when everyone guesses what something is. There's certainly some pictures, I think, that are easier than others. Who cares? It's a silly party game. It's also really quick. I mean, you're only playing five rounds of it. Um, I would imagine many people will flip and play more rounds. There's a lot of pictures, a lot of replayability. And even if you know the pictures and remember the pictures, like, oh, I remember there's broccoli in the game. Well, yeah, but maybe that's mushrooms they just drew. Who knows? So I like it. I think that's an interesting concept. Plays up to six players, um, and it plays up to six players okay, right? Because uh, when it comes to guessing, everyone's guessing. You only have one guess, so you don't just board it out unless you're absolutely sure you're correct. Uh, so silliness, entertaining, fun to see everybody's silly tracing drawings, and I'm always a big fan of drawing games where it doesn't matter if you're a good artist or not. That's the Coco. Dice Tower Judgment approved. <laughs> Thank you.
Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast, or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.